prisoner of conscience in the USSR, who is a woman who wrote, she's a poet, she wrote a poem about the invasion of Czechoslovakia, and the government of Russia did not take kindly to her poem. <clears throat> so they put her in a mental hospital and told her she was cuckoo, which is what they do over there, as opposed to some of the scummy things we do over here. And she's a very brave woman. Every time she gets out of the mental hospital, she writes another poem and they stick her back in. But that's the kind of person who's probably the only reason that you and I are still alive on the face of the earth is because that kind of bravery. <laughs> Weaver of words Who lives alone In fear and sorrow Where are the words To set you free Perhaps tomorrow Where is the earth Where is the sky Where is the light What hopes of you where you are now? Natalia Gorbanevskaya. My parents are Quakers and decided that they didn't like the idea of killing people. When I was very young, I heard that from them. I went to Quaker meeting and we sat in silence. I hated Quaker meeting, but I understood that my father, as, a, as an excellent physicist, never to take a job in defense. And I knew only one thing, that there were jobs my father could have where he would make a lot more money. So I was brought up a pacifist and then became a militant pacifist, which is a nonviolent soldier, whatever you want to call it. Where is the child you'll never see? Natalia Gorbanevskaya. What is there left? Behind the doors that never open Are you insane as they say you are Or just forsaken Are you still there? Do you still care? I wrote this song you'll never hear, Natalia Gorbanevskaya. Probably most of the societies in the world in 